What's up, Marl? Got myself a new freezer. This is not your standard vid vulture video. I think you're about to start hearing about Bitcoin, no matter who you are. And uh, it's actually a legitimate technology and it's got a big future. Reason I'm making this video is because we're entering the banana zone of Bitcoin. Now, I could still take a couple months. Let me go into the living room. That belongs to me. No, that's mine. And take your catnip with you. Take your, <laughs> take your catnip with you. Go on. <laughs> so my Bitcoin videos were highly, highly, highly unliked this time last cycle when Bitcoin was at 18,000. So last cycle when I started making these videos, I, I, I created a new, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, shoot. I created a new YouTube channel called the Bitcoin Street, right there. People did not like it on my Vid Vulture channel. I regretted not, not sticking to it though because Bitcoin went from 18,000 to almost 70,000 shortly after there. Well, I went from 18 to, I'll discuss that here in a second. It went from 18,000 to 60,000 rapidly. And uh, it could have helped a lot of people. But if you're brand new to this, I, I've become, I've become uh, rather sophisticated over the last few years. And I've actually turned into a decent trader. Down in the description, I have Bitcoin Street, my YouTube channel, Bitcoin Street, linked up if you want to go check it out. I make videos talking about this stuff and uh, I know this is not the content that people tune into my channel to watch but I just want to show you real quick now if you don't know what you're doing you can get yourself into trouble um, if you use leverage leverage is borrowing money from the exchanges to to make trades with money you don't actually have but I'm the reason I'm making this video now is because we're approaching we're not there yet but here's here's where I started making videos. Can you see that? Let's get a little closer. Here's where I started making videos last cycle, right here on Bitcoin. It was like eighteen to twenty thousand, and and uh, that was like November, and it went to uh, you know don't don't even count this high here in, in April. The, the, you know this peak here was in in uh, late February. It went to almost sixty thousand. So from from uh, from late November to late February. Oh, there's sirens. Crease is gonna start hooting and hollering. What's it? Dallow Crease! Oh! The coders! The steel coders! Anyways, late November, last cycle to, to uh, mid to late February, and went from just say 20,000 to 60,000. So if you put in $100, Right, right down here, you would have cashed out for 300 up here. And as you can see, it actually eventually did go higher than that. But this real rapid move is what we're about to start witnessing. And I don't know, I don't want to talk too much about this and give up about information and go down rabbit trails. But uh, so if you compare it to last cycle, we're about, you know, just time wise, we're like right here today. This is about where we're at right here. Over here, over here, where we're at over here. If you, stop it, stop, 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 that's enough. Good dog, good dog. Time-wise, we're right about here, this scribble here. And to the right of the scribble is what's about to happen over here. Quiet, no, no, you can't have none. Well, later. I'm making a video, dude, leave me alone, please, leave me alone. The point I'm getting to here is, is this is about to happen. Bitcoin's about to go fling, 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 fling. All right, it's gonna look something like that. <laughs> and I'm predicting, I mean, it's not prediction, it's based on, it's an intelligent guess that I've made oh, about two years ago. I'm saying about 139,000, right about this area is where Bitcoin will probably top out. I just wanna bring this to your attention that now would be a good time to buy crypto. Now, if you don't know what you're doing, you can just buy it on the spot market. Right, you can go over to uh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood's a good place that people, they, you know their name, you trust their name. 
they've got crypto wallets now. And the four cryptos I'm recommending to buy, because this is, this is Robinhood, right? That's what Robinhood will look like. And you just go to their crypto section. And now this is just a spot market, which is, is, is safe. You know, if you ever wanted to start investing, it's, it just simply isn't going to get any safer than this, what I'm making this video right now about. Now, of course, there's always, who knows in this wacky world, there's always a black swan that could come along. So don't get stupid, right? Don't get stupid. Whatever, whatever stupid would be to you, don't, don't do something stupid. But I do want to bring this to your attention. Here's the four cryptos I'm recommending. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and Chainlink. Chainlink, is it thirteen dollars right now? I expect Chainlink to come close to a hundred dollars. The interesting thing is the, these four that I've witnessed and, and watched since last cycle, and I didn't do this on purpose, but <laughs> it also they all seem to be rounding out to a to a zero number. Like Chainlink, I expect to go to about a hundred dollars. Dogecoin is at thirteen cents. I expect that to go to about one dollar. And it's interesting how Dogecoin and Chainlink are kind of synced up, right? $13.89. Dogecoin is $13.47. Just missing a couple zeros. It's interesting. Um, Ethereum is at $3,459. I expect that to go to about $10,000. Now, these might not make it all the way there. Ethereum might not make it all the way there. But it's something to watch. And I expect Bitcoin to go to about $139,000. And the point I'm making here is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and Chainlink, they're real. They will get a ton of attention. They're not scams. Uh, you know, and there is a lot of scams in the crypto world because anytime you have something of value, the poop will bring the flies along with it, right? And uh, so don't fall for any stupid stuff there'll be people trying to scam you know and this is good information for everyone out there particularly the people who don't know anything about the crypto market is you're going to start hearing about it no matter who you are no matter where you're at and there's like i say there's thieves and criminals out there they'll send you emails and they'll, they'll make there's fake deep fake videos on youtube using people's faces that, that they're not really them and they're saying send us your bitcoin and we'll send you some more bitcoin back and i'll do not do not send anyone any of your crypto any for any reason whatsoever. Do not send it to them at all because <laughs> they are trying to steal your money. Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, and Chainlink. If you see Chainlink going up to about $100, this is just a good ballpark thing to keep in mind. If you see Chainlink get to about 100 you know, one might go faster than the other, right? If you see Dogecoin to get to about a dollar, if you see Ethereum approaching $10,000, that's an indicator to sell and get out of the market. Because because this goes, as you can see, this will go in waves and there will be a giant crash eventually. What you're seeing here is from, from the end of 2019 on the far left, you can see how it pumps and dumps. And as Bitcoin gets older, this is Bitcoin, right? And the whole crypto market will generally follow this for the most part. And, and you can see it pumps and it dumps, it pumps and it dumps, right? And, and it's pumped. And, and a lot of people that aren't real sharp analysts have probably been saying this was some sort of bull market pump. Now, that, now it is because, you know, it just went up. But there's the big, the big move, right? This, this move right here, that move. Is, is coming that's why I'm making this video so like uh, just you know I'm trying to make this for new people and the thing is is I'm not trying to get anyone into doing doing anything risky and I'm not trying to talk anyone I'm not trying to talk anyone into doing anything the point I'm making is that the bitcoins actually got a chance to to uh, actually be what a lot of the longtime bitcoiners think could happen and, and it could it could become just a, a massive giant and you know like this time last cycle i was saying over here i was saying buy bitcoin you know and you know because fiat currencies are, are in trouble and you know uh the, the our, our money is being debased and devalued and i'm sure you probably have felt that now eventually your income will eventually rise with it 
they're just kicking the can down the road, right? So I'm not saying Bitcoin is a great, wonderful thing like I was back here almost four years ago. You know, I thought it might have been something super awesome, special, but now I kind of see it for what it is. And the, the main point I'm trying to make in this video is why, why I want you to buy a little bit of crypto and Bitcoin and get experienced and, and test the waters is because if you don't own Bitcoin, then, you know, I, I want you to buy some Bitcoin out of fear. I want you out of fear. You should, why you should buy it is fear. You should be scared. <laughs> The Bitcoin is going to end up being the reserve currency of the planet, right? Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but you can see that, they, that, that there's a possibility that could happen. And if you don't own Bitcoin and that happens, you will be a peasant. And if you do own Bitcoin and that happens, then you'll be set. And, you know, generations of your, your lineage will be set. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but the main point I want to say is this is a real thing. You know, it's got a lot of bad press, but there's big people, you know, there's big people about to start pumping this and you're bound to start hearing about it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, no matter who you are, no matter where you're at, you're going to start hearing about this. It's inevitable. And I want you to, I want you to buy some Bitcoin out of fear. I used to think Bitcoin was a great thing. Now I think Bitcoin could actually be a, a kind of a, a, it could be a terrible thing because it's got, it's, it's got a set supply. Right? It can never be increased. The supply can never be increased. So the thing that could happen is people that own Bitcoin will be like the top 1% wealth in the, in, on the planet. And everyone else below there is basically like, you know, please, master, may I have a few Satoshis? And Satoshis are the smaller increments of a Bitcoin. All right. So out of fear, I would like for you to buy some Bitcoin and just hold on to it. And, uh, you know, Stop, stop it. And so, what was I going to say? Uh, this video got longer than I wanted to get, and my food's getting cold. But uh, you got my point. My last Bitcoin Street video I made, I put in this these, these two scribbles you see here. See this one going up here? I made this video back on uh, July 15th or 14th, ballpark. I, I made this video here when Bitcoin was at like 61, 62,000. And this scribble I've got up here to the right is what I told my viewers Bitcoin is about ready to do, most likely. And as you can see, it's actually done it faster, right? It's done this, right? <laughs> it's looking like it's going to do this instead. But I left that scribble on there just so I can go and make my next video and say, look, you know, it's pretty close. <laughs> I'm getting pretty good at this. And uh, so that's it, right? Buy some Bitcoin out of fear. Don't buy Bitcoin because because someone's recommending it to you. Buy Bitcoin because because you're fearful that that it could actually become worth millions and millions of dollars for one Bitcoin. And I don't know if that's going to happen. And I'm not, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it has a chance to do that. And if it does that, you do not want to be Bitcoinless. And uh, go over to my Bitcoin Street channel and i'll be making videos over there so i don't annoy my regular viewers here on vidvulture here's my bitcoin street here, here's the last video i was talking about it was actually a week ago so uh my thumbnail says it's starting and my title is bitcoin post having pump begins and uh what do you think you know Am I fairly dialed in? And I'll always give you good advice. And the thing about my VidVulture channel is, folks, is I know a lot of viewers are watching for entertainment, and, and it's my little niche that I fell into. But this VidVulture channel, even when it was Scrap Vulture, I actually came to YouTube to make money. On, on My channel was Scrap Vulture, and I was trying to start an app for scrap metal. And uh, so I was trying to make money, right? And all my videos here, with the exception of like my dog videos, exploring videos, but everything else is about making money, right? It's, it's just, it's ways for people where you don't have to have a boss, you don't need to have a have to have job and you can make money, right? Essentially, that's what everything I've been talking about on VinVulture has always been about. And this Bitcoin falls into that category. It's just a different subject that people will find boring. But if you see Bitcoin, do what it's been doing um it's actually quite exciting <laughs> they call it they're calling it the banana zone this time around and i tried to say something here last time and like i said basically the start of december 
to uh, the middle of February. So that's December. That's eight. That's ten. In ten weeks. In ten weeks, the price went from twenty thousand to sixty thousand. And I do expect something like that similar to happen. And uh, so Bitcoin, I don't think is going to go that high. I, I think Bitcoin will top out around one hundred thirty-nine thousand. But these other coins like Dogecoin and Chainlink and Ethereum, Ethereum, you know, probably do something similar to what Bitcoin did last cycle, you know, from 3,300 to 10,000. Dogecoin and Chainlink have a chance to make you a lot more money, right? So if you want to try to make a lot of money, Chainlink and Dogecoin, you know, if you put $100 into Chainlink right now at $14, you're looking at probably 28 56 you, you'll probably make about 700 bucks 600 bucks for every hundred dollars you put in a chain link you'll probably make about 600 now that could be off but in that ballpark you know in and then you know in, in the early 2025 by the spring of 2025 you'll probably make 500 dollars for every hundred dollars of chain link you buy and you know, if you want to stay up to date and, and, you know, my my opinion will change and my analysis will change, of course. This changes constantly. So go over to Bitcoin Street and, and I'll talk about it over there for you. All right, later. Have a good one. Uh, this got cold, but I'm still going to eat it up like it's delicious. Asparagus and salmon. Delicious. Thanks for watching.